I think the key thing that we learn from looking across the oceans is that, A, it's the biggest habitat in the known universe, the biggest place that organisms live anywhere in our universe. And it's full of life in all its little nooks and crannies and corners and the top and the bottom and the hot and the cold and everywhere. We've got oh, almost 200 stories of how ocean life really lives from, you know, what are the oldest animals that live in the ocean or in the world? What's the oldest living mammal? What are the ways that organisms live in the deep sea? One of my favorite ones is a fish called the stoplight goose jaw. And it lives very, very deep, and it has lights that it projects out in order to find its food down in the deep sea because it's dark. There's a problem, though. Anybody who has lights on down there is immediately a target for predators who come in and zoom and just smack them. So this fish has red lights. All the other light in the deep sea is blue or green. This fish has evolved red lights, and it has evolved eyes that can see red. It's the only fish that can see red. It's the only one that makes red light. And so it has headlights that it can use to see its prey. Nobody else can see it. Everybody knows really fast fish are marlins. They go really fast. Swordfish, sailfish. The trouble is they're not only swimming fast, like at 40 miles an hour, but they're having to eat at 40 miles an hour as well. How do you eat at 40 miles an hour? How do you stop and get coffee without stopping? And so the way they do that is they actually had to make their brains work faster and their eyes work faster. So they have heaters behind their eyeballs and they have heaters on the top of their brains. And because of that, they can think and see fast enough to be able to swim through a school of fish, snap them up and keep going. So if there's a way for life to make a living in the ocean, it's generally found it and does it.